Hello everyone, my name is Oscar. So, in terms of the game, in terms of Throw Heroes, primarily what I've been working on, well, the main thing is that I made this little log enemy, and I, made, I animated him so that he can run around and chase the player. Um, and I hooked all that up to the AI that's in a previous video, and you can check that out if you want to hear more about that. Um, but yeah, as a side note, it's interesting how much art makes a video game feel like a video game. I mean, that's a really obvious statement, but like, it's just so satisfying to finally add animation after working on the computer science behind it all. Um, yeah, I guess it's just so satisfying, and often I forget that because I do a lot of the computer science work before doing the art stuff, which is maybe something I'm trying to change in the future. But yeah, it's just super satisfying, and I'm like, oh, this is actually supposed to be a game. Which is, you know, not a novel concept, but in the moment, it feels really exciting. I also want to talk a little bit about something I've been thinking about recently, which is the idea of what a game, or video game, in air quotes, really is. So I've been reading this article, or I read this article, called Video Game Criticism and games in the 21st century. I've really enjoyed it. It's by Patrick Yagoda, I think, if I'm not butchering that name. Um, I'll include a link to it in the description. But in part of it, the author talks about what a game is um, and how we define games and, ha as, and how as games have grown more and more complex now in the 21st century where we have all kinds of games like art games, interactive experiences, all this stuff. What, you know, how do we, like, number one, should this all be categorized under the name game? And number two, how do you define what a game is in that case? And for me, it seemed, I don't know, there wasn't a super clear answer from what I got from the text. Um, but it seemed like the games, the kind of art games, the like outlier games that are very different from mainstream, you know, narrative or co-op games, stuff like that. Um, the author seemed to still consider games, or at least the people that they quoted were were certainly thinking about them as games. To me, I feel like the word video game is such a limiting term in a way. Like, I just imagine big, like, like a, if you have a huge wall with a projector and, like, sensors that are sensing where people are in this room and then that is changing this projector display. I mean, I think that's possible using, like, game engines like Unity and stuff like this. But I, I, I feel like there's a whole genre of things that I would just call more, like, interactive virtual experiences rather than games. 